Hello video creators. In this tutorial, we'll explore an extension for Premiere Pro and After Effects called Anchor Pro. Make sure to grab a free trial at aescripts.com. As you've probably guessed, this tool allows you to manipulate the anchor point of a clip in various ways. To get started, simply click on the anchor point icons. You can move the anchor point relative to the clip itself by toggling the clip icon. Alternatively, toggle the sequence icon to move it relative to the sequence. Another option is to move it relative to the selected clips. To do this, toggle the appropriate icon and select the clips you want to include in the selection. A distinctive feature of Anchor Pro is its ability to work seamlessly with the alpha mode of the clip. Toggle this icon to activate it when adjusting the anchor point relative to the clip or clip selection. Additionally, you can save the anchor point position of a clip by clicking this icon while holding Alt on Windows or Option on Mac. A neat animation will play, and you can later align other clips to the same point by simply clicking it. Now, let's discuss how Anchor Pro interacts with animated clips. If the position of the clip is animated, moving the anchor point relative to the clip will maintain the same animation path. Anchor Pro will automatically add keyframes if you move it relative to the clip selection or sequence to preserve the animation. If the anchor point itself is animated, Anchor Pro will add keyframes accordingly. While the animation should theoretically remain consistent, there may be inconsistencies due to Premiere's automatic spatial interpolation. If needed, adjust the spatial interpolation to linear for consistency. You can customize Anchor Pro further by accessing preferences through the burger icon. Here you can assign modifier keys such as Control, Alt, Shift, Option, and Command to your clicks for quick access to settings. Additionally, you can choose to move the anchor point in vector motion instead of regular motion or in both properties simultaneously. You also have the option to hide the parameters line once you've configured everything with modifier keys. Additionally, you can enable sub-anchors. To apply preferences, simply click on either of the anchors. Sub-anchors will appear as shown. In After Effects, Anchor Pro offers the same functionality as in Premiere with one exception. When the layer is 3D, it will only move the anchor point relative to the clip itself, and those sub-anchors won't work. Apart from that, Anchor Pro functions as usual. That concludes our overview of the Anchor Pro extension. Make sure to grab a free trial at aescripts.com. Happy editing!